So what I have here is a Power A wireless rechargeable uh, Nintendo Switch controller. And this is going to be a short unboxing. This is going to be part one. And part two is not going to be an unboxing, but it is going to be an experiment. All right, so let's get started. Gonna get the plastic off. Always be careful with knives. You never want to have them facing towards you. And you must always be safe. Make sure that they're properly locked and in place. Right, now that we got the plastic out of the way, let's open this up and see what we have inside. So we have the USB-A to USB-C charging cable. And we have the controller and a user manual, it seems. So we got the standard power a user manual two-year limited warranty that's great honestly that is fantastic my metroid dread controller didn't come with that a two-year warranty and then we got the controller itself buttons feel nice it turned on i didn't think it'd be charged piece of plastic protecting it I'll put that in there. The sticks feel great. Buttons feel great. The only reason I got this is because I like to speed run Metroid Dread sometimes. And uh, it turns out that the wireless controllers have a lower latency than the wired controllers, which is crazy because that's usually never how it happens. So thanks, Nintendo. Let's take a short look at what is on the packaging here. We have enhanced wireless controller, wireless motion rechargeable. Oh, it's, uh, it has motion controls too. That's pretty cool. Mappable buttons. That is like the Metroid Jet controller. Those are the buttons on the back. And then on the back here, enhanced wireless controller for the Nintendo Switch, anti-friction rings for smooth movement, rechargeable battery up to 30 hours per charge, ergonomic design, the mappable buttons on the back, and the motion controls. All right, so I have my Metroid Jet controller with the mappable buttons on the back, and I got my new wireless switch controller of course with the mappable buttons on the back this feels it feels like it has the nice heftiness to it similar to an xbox controller or an xbox elite controller whereas this feels hollow but it's a great controller honestly uh I opened it up and I do have a uh, rumble, rumble motor in here. I just never soldered it in or anything because this, on the inside when you open it up, it is hollow. That has been it for this video. I'm going to do a follow up shortly. Please like, share, and subscribe for more. Thank you.